Yeah, I like your hair though. Wow. You got some nice hair. It's nice. This is how racism starts, my nigga. This right here, bro. Worst prankster ever by Charlie. So let's literally see what's going on. This is going on. I know I'm fashionably late to this topic, very tardy to the party. You've all seen the prankster who's gone viral for walking into a stranger's home. Mm. But I feel like a lot of you probably don't know that that wasn't an isolated incident for that guy. He's Yo, I've seen that. It's that UK motherfucker who's walking into people's house. Yo, the UK different, my nigga. I thought y'all was challenging people to sword fights and... And, and and throwing the white glove and on God, you know what I'm saying? Like really awesome swashbuckling power one on one Pirates of the Caribbean time. And, but niggas literally is what letting these people walk up in their house and not doing nothing about it, bro. And you're going to keep doing it because nobody ain't, ain't nobody doing nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? But Pete. been around for quite some time doing things just as bad if not worse than that prank and i just kind of want to go through like a little montage of his worst moments and deliver a ted talk on why he's an insufferable asshole and just make fun of him so let's start with his magnum opus the video he's most proud of the one that garnered the most attention online this is where he and his friends invade a random family's home for their prank which is illegal first of all oh holy shit First of all, let's go dissect this. Invade a random family's home for their prank. This is the worst, worst quality I've ever seen in my life. I ain't gonna cap to you. If you go back to 19, like 54, I guarantee you have a video that's crisper than this. This shit is recorded off a fucking telephone, my nigga. An OG house on my nigga. These niggas recorded this off a fucking sandal. This quality is fucking horrible. I don't even know how this got to this quality, but whoever fucking transferred this over, did the worst job of maintaining the quality. This nigga look like Steve Lacey. This nigga just need to get the fuck up with whatever the fuck he trying to do. His head too big to be doing that, my nigga. I'm not going to capture you, my nigga. Um, I don't know, bro. UK niggas. I don't know. Lively quality. Oh, man, bro. Random houses, let's go. Gate just open, bro. James, yeah. James, yeah. you And by the way, this is just bad look for for the brothers everywhere. Like they already don't like us, and you're all walking up in their crib, my nigga. Like three deep. Like come on. We need to speak to James. James. Huh. So these dweebs just barge into a random family's home, like when the nematodes charge the crusty crab. But they're not looking for food; they're looking for clout. It's an epic joke, just going into a complete stranger's house and scaring the wife and the father while the kids are also home. Cool, that's a fact. I don't know. Is this where the study group is? No. What the number is this? No. Study group. James, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. If I was you, I'd slap the fuck out each one of them niggas, but that's just me, bro. So they came to your house. I don't know what UK law is, but... Stand your ground, my nigga. Well, it's probably different over there, but still, they came in your house, bro. Like, come on, bro. James stepping for real? James not gonna do nothing, bro. Bree, that's a fact. Nigga sitting on his couch. Nah, come on. Wait, this is not what the study yeah, group got kids, man. Wait, oh, you got wait. kids? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, I thought this was a study group. I actually thought. And this is a study group. God, the smugness when he puts his legs up on their table had me fuming. Obviously, they got very lucky here that James didn't come out with that baseball bat ready. Like, you know, there was just a chance James was trained in the ancient Bushido arts and charged them with a samurai sword to protect his family. And he would have been totally within his right to defend them. As oh, I'm still on Pico Park. Thank you for telling me. Thank you for telling me. Everyone in the world. Man, I would have just... Yo, Matt, come on, nigga! Like, what the hell? <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Yo, we don't say everything we think, nigga. World protect his family. Yo, and he would have been totally nigga. within his right to defend them. As everyone in the world pointed out. But would I be wrong? I mean, Mac, you know where we at, nigga. Come on, bro. A potato garden, think for the nine months. Shake off with Penguin Zero. Think for the nine months. He probably did end up saying that to them niggas, bro. He broke into their house. 
happen in America, this prank would happen one time and never again because it'd be just a fucking pile of corpses. Just breaking into a random house. Yo, Ryan, it's a prank related video. You have to play the in a good video. It's the stupidest prank I think I've ever seen try and become a bitch. And make no mistake, this wasn't a one off thing. They've actually done this a couple times. I'll show you one of their other. I would home punch them in the teeth, but they pranks. already fucked. Bro, Mac. During night, bro? What the fuck was this nigga? This nigga wearing a rug? How the fuck was their door their door just open? This time they didn't talk to the family, they just giggled like school children finding out their crush likes them and ran away. Now the main douchebag's name is Mizzy. And Mizzy has quite literally grown up with social media and has been a professional loser ever since. And, and I say that about an actual child. Like, he started getting arrested at 11 years old for this kind of dog shit, and he has never let off the gas because... So my guy, ooh, never mind. They're not getting punished for it in the UK at all. For example, he recently got arrested for a series ooh, of... Ooh, that's what I be talking about with y'all UK niggas, bro. Niggas be having the worst drip known to man, nigga. What the fuck is this Mary Poppins ass hat this nigga got on, bro? Who told this nigga to put this shit on? This nigga just, I don't know. Is that supposed to be a Nike tech? Take that shit off, bro. Videos where he just assaults Orthodox Jews. That was the content. Just publicly assaulting them. And he got arrested and pretty much what? immediately released. Ah, uh, yes. The timeless classic prank of assault. That's as old as time itself. We've been giggling about assault for years now. Kanye. So... I have no doubt the police gave him a stern talking to to really set him on the straight and narrow. I would love to see footage of the arrest and the conversation they would have had. I guarantee the authorities are like, hey, listen champ, can you not do that? Alright, great. Then he goes home and the next day- Maybe just change shirts? Champ, can you not- I don't know why I thought this nigga was wearing a black shirt. Yo, is this a Mandela effect? Yo, I'm not gonna hoot you. I'm in the stream, nigga. I don't know. Something just happened. I'm not even gonna cap to you. I don't know why I thought this nigga was wearing a black shirt. This is fucking crazy. Yo, I don't know what just happened in my fucking head, my nigga. I'm not gonna hoot you. I, maybe I'm tweaked out. I'm tweaked out. I'm tweaked out. I'm tweaked out. Do that? All right, great. Then he goes home and then- Nigga, something changed in this frame. Listen, champ. His hair, his hair, his hair, his hair, his hair, his hair. He pushed his hair back. All right, great. Then he goes. Yeah, he puts his hair back. I don't know why. There, yo, that just fucked me up. I'm not going. That just, that just fucked me up for some reason. I'm not going to cap you. He's home, and the next day, his prank is breaking into random Bye. people's houses. Bye. I take those throw off. Their arms up like, oh, Jiminy Christmas. This was unforeseeable. Now enough of this foolishness. We're serious. Don't do it again. How could this possibly Look be happening? We've done all we could to stop this and prevent further awful pranks and degenerate crimes like this. We've, we've talked to you multiple times. What else can we do? Oh, goodness gracious, now you're stealing puppies? Which is something he also has done for pranks. Really? Uh, hello. Hi. You got a nice dog? Sorry? You got a nice dog? She's lovely, she's she's. How many dogs? Don't run away. Bing gang, hold on the gang. <laughs> Bonk! Bonk, look what you did, nigga! Bonk, come on, man! Oh man, nigga, boom game. I'm telling y'all, bro. Y'all be thinking people be gassing up that era, but Boom literally ruined an entire generation of children, bro. Literally, y'all don't understand how much how powerful social media is, bro. Boom gang, Woe Vicky, and Bad Baby have affected, influenced, and ruined an entire group of children. It is 2023. There is no reason. Why this nigga should be yelling out Boom Gang as he is stealing a fucking dog. Yeah, this nigga's a bitch. I'm not gonna lie. Boom Gang, hold on the gang. Your side. Your side. That dog don't know what the fuck going on. Your side. Bro, look at this fucking dog. We all side every single time. This is so. I don't understand people like that. Like, that nigga's actually a bitch over-the-top evil it almost becomes cartoonish like something you would write for a character that's supposed to be hated by everybody like man this guy's such bad news that he steals puppies from old women it's so fucking crazy this would be like my batman event if it happened to me if someone just came up and stole my dog while i was walking them in a park 
I, I would actually spend the rest of my life dedicated to learning martial arts, tracking them down, and ensuring they face real hard justice. And that nigga's also a bitch, bro. He gonna go for the little dog that's not gonna do nothing, my nigga. You gotta go for cupcake or or, or, or pudding or, or 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 princess, nigga. Go for princess. You go for princess, you know it's not gonna be a pretty sight, my nigga. I don't know if he gave that dog back. I would actually imagine he probably just set the dog down right Spring when he was goes. done filming. And that was that. Maybe the dog went back to the woman, or maybe the dog walked across the street and got hit by a car. Because this guy has never once shown any amount of humanity in any of his content. Everything he does, he does in the most malicious way possible, treating people like props to either scare or steal from, or invade the privacy of. He is the most unlikable prankster on the internet. And that is a prestigious accolade. That is not something, not a title I bestow lightly because Damn. there are a. I gotta understand. Boonk stole everything. Joey Salads pissed in his own mouth and incited racism. Sam Pepper killed his own best friend in GTA as a prank. Prank. Um, Ethan and Mo Bradbury literally went into the hood and faked pranks of black men punching them to push the in the hood gone wrong agenda fussy to uh fake social experiments um one of them niggas was doing edp pranks so if this nigga's the worst prankster you know you know you know that shit means something that's just not a, a, a easy title to get my nigga believable amount of shitty pranks hey, he stands atop that mountain of awful people. Show the vid. Yo, I cannot show the vid every time we talk about the pull your pants video, bro. Fucking superstar of being an absolute irredeemable douchebag. I actually just can't get over this one. My blood is still boiling. I could cook some fucking noodles in my bloodstream right now. Stealing someone's pet is so beyond evil. A pet is a member of the family. That and this is an older woman in the park where she felt safe, having her dog walk around and have fun together, and then out of nowhere. Yo, bruh, pull up your pants. Yo, let's go with you, my nigga. Some absolute lunatic comes and steals that dog right in front of her? That's fucking traumatizing. And like I said, I highly doubt he brought the dog back to her. I actually can't even fathom how someone could end up so hopelessly pathetic like Mizzy. You couldn't create a bigger loser in a laboratory. This man went into the character creator and had all of his stats set to literally zero. Mm. Now, I mentioned he grew up poisoned by social media from the get-go. He was basically born onto an iPad. Like, his eyes have been glued to TikTok and social Where media since the, like the very second he could even open his eyes in this corporeal dimension. So he's been doing this kind of shit and influenced by it for so many years. So now he's 18 years old and still doing like 18, this. The man bro. is a fucking seasoned veteran of the most degenerate pranks of all time because Cat when you grow up on social media, you soon take notice that some of the biggest content and people that make an entire career online start by just being a disruptive asshole to strangers. It's very popular. So he's trying the speed run any percent route to fame through these kind of awful pranks. His TikTok did get banned. And I think some of his other accounts have as well. But that doesn't matter to him because he still got the clout off of it. So he'll probably just come back somewhere. He's just like this little pest that continues to infest the... I'm gonna keep it stack. I'm gonna keep it honest. This is all in GTA. He's not gonna learn until he get beat the fuck up. Is that, is that crazy? In GTA, of course. He's not gonna learn until he get beat the fuck up. Sometimes that's all it takes. You just gotta beat the nigga up in GTA to really... So he can really feel it. You know what I'm saying? Gotta be sometimes somebody just gotta beat the nigga in GTA, you know what I'm saying? And then he gonna really feel what it is and what it ain't. The internet, where I bet he won't do it again, banned, though. He'll just keep doing these pranks on a different channel and hoping that it's in the UK. Fire remember what UK niggas can't fight, you can't throw hands in the UK, nigga. We would, uh, what'd you, what'd you be, you know what I'm saying? You can't throw hands in the UK, or uh, what's the legal way to do it? You have to throw the white glove and then challenge him to a duel, my nigga, like whatever you gotta do, bro. Realistically, he's not going to learn until he does something. He goes to jail for a while. You can't. You, you got to use a sword. Uh, that's 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 the legal way. You have to use. A, you have to challenge him to a horseback and a horseback and sword fight. Again, Race but here's him celebrating his viral fame from the home invasion prank. Easy, and today. We nah, this nigga really need to get the fuck up. I don't know what this nigga trying to do, but the, this nigga has the worst starter locks I've ever seen in my fucking life, my nigga. Nigga, 
Cut that, hold on, no, cut that, y'all, I feel like y'all can't really see what I'm talking about, bro, hold on, I'm about to put it on, uh, yo, cut that shit the fuck off, nigga, cut that off, nigga, cut that off, nigga, cut that off, nigga, that shit don't go past the nigga forehead, cut that off, nigga, come on, man. Oh, going viral, lads, more viral than I've been in the past, like, two, three years, like, I started social media since I was eight, been doing videos, been making bangers, been blowing up since I was young. But this right here, everywhere. everywhere. Reposts, tweets, bro, you guys already know what I'm talking about, bro. Like you, we didn't I'm gonna put the video on. I almost feel bad for his goofball friend behind him because he's been in every single one of these prank videos and no one knows who the fuck that goober is. He's just you know what I is a is <laughs> fuck, suckling off the teat of Mizzy who's getting some kind of pseudo fame for being a cringe <laughs> right, douchebag. Right. And what's even more pathetic for that guy is every time he tries to speak in Mizzy's video, Mizzy shuts that shit down ASAP. He starts talking over him and starts talking louder so you can't even hear him. He sounds like fucking Charlie Brown's parents every time he tries to speak because Mizzy's instantly putting the kibosh on it. What a fucking sad existence. He just trails along like a hemorrhoid on Mizzy's ass doing his best to collect some crumbs of clout yeah, that falls too, off bro. of him from He's all of this douchebag crime pranking. That is even more embarrassing than Mizzy himself. That guy. The fucking side character. The sidekick henchman that nobody even knows. But overall, this video is a great look into the disgusting mentality of Mizzy and what gets cooked up in that dumb little noodle of his where he views events like this as a great thing and something to be proud of. Celebrating how viral this prank went and that's all that matters to him, clearly. Talks about how he was eight years old when he started all this shit. And Nigga started at eight years old. Ain't nobody beat his ass. Ain't nobody teach him. Parents? Where's the parents at? Yeah, don't know. But, you know. Still going hog wild with it. Just letting it rip. And he's going to continue to double down on this content. And probably amplify the ridiculousness of it. The only thing that would stop it is if he gets arrested and actually faces jail time for it. Or if people stop talking about him and he fades away into obscurity. That is absolutely his worst nightmare. People forget about him. They don't know his name. They don't know who he is anymore. That is his kryptonite. What? I'm gonna show you from over there. I like your hair still. You got some nice hair. It's nice. This is how racism starts, my nigga. This right here, bro. Do shit like this, my nigga. You can't do that, bro. You can't do that, bro. Come on, my nigga. This is bad looks, bro. This is bad looks, bro. This is bad looks, bro. Cause you say something, bro, then like, then you gonna be mad at her, bro. Come on, bro. Tighten up, bro. Act your age, bro. I'm gonna show you from over there. I like your hair still. You got some nice hair. It's nice and luscious. I'm perfectly fine. We're gonna die. Huh? Huh? You want to die in GTA? Is that what he said? And as he's reaching into his pocket, what the fuck? Is, 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 what well, did, did I miss hear that wrong? Huh? Die. It's nice and luscious. I'm perfectly fine. We're gonna die. Huh? These niggas not fast enough for me. I ain't gonna hold you. I would have been out, nigga. I would have been out. This nigga's a, a class A, grade A, top tier certified weirdo, nigga. I'm praying. I don't pray on niggas downfall like that, but I'm praying on bro's downfall, bro. I am praying on bro's downfall, bro. Why are you just smiling at me? Oh. I asked him a question, a serious question. Do you know that? I would have, I would have, I would have walked away. I would have ran away actually at this point in time, my nigga. Like, come on, bro. Why? Wow. Shit. Why? Because you're gonna die. Another day, another banger here. This Holy is the "Do you want to die?" prank, where he just goes up to these strangers and starts. By the way, nobody's watch. If this is the actual recording. And this is the type of quality. If we get 360p every video, nigga. If we, if it wasn't for the nigga, we not watching regardless, my nigga. 
This shit got recorded off a of fucking flip phone Nokia original, my nigga. I seen fire hydrants with, with uh, fucking better cameras in this, my nigga. It's crazy. Cause I'm gonna die. Another day, another banger here. This is the do you want to die prank where he just goes up to these strangers and starts caressing their hair and asking if they want to die. Again, that's a that's a prank that only works in the UK, I guess. Anywhere else in the world, he probably gets the shit beat out of him at the very least. Yeah. That is fucking crazy. And this is not a guy who's in good shape. This guy's built like two stick figures on top of each other. He is not someone that could hold his own <laughs> shit someone get aggressive with this prank. And this is a prank he's done multiple times. Here Nobody beat the fuck- this, this, The UK have like a- uh, a fucking forever peace law, nigga. Like, do you take just a utopia where nobody touches each other, my nigga? Nobody defends themselves and everybody just lives in utopia and harmony, my nigga? Like, damn. Nigga. Hit that nigga, bro. Somebody, bro. Pepper spray. I don't know. What, what the fuck y'all got? Uh, cutlasses, nigga. Uh, rapiers. Uh, she sheath the sword, nigga. I don't know what y'all got, bro. Like, handle that. Here's his encore performance of the Do You Want to Die prank to another stranger. I come quick, fam, bro. Hey, bro, do not die, bro. Listen, do not no, die. No, I end no, the cool, no. yeah. Do not die, bro. No, no. What do you mean, no, no, no? I come. Do not oh. die, bro. No, 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 no. What do you mean, no, no, no? I hey, back it up. Hey, hey, what do you mean, bro? Do listen, not die, listen. bro. No joke. Okay, I got that stuff inside. Bro, no, no. Do not die, bro. What is the joke here? This absolute funny, loser bro? views assault and breaking into houses and threatening people, asking if they want to die, as a prank. Does he think like Ted Bundy and nigga said, what if they say yes? Nigga gonna be like, oh, uh, oh, what if they, what if they said, yeah, that would actually be crazy. I'm not gonna cap you. That, that would be actually be insane. I'm not gonna hold you. Jeffrey Dahmer or like pranksters or something. Like who is he trying to emulate? Where is he getting this inspiration from? The guy is unhinged and he is downright dangerous to the UK. I don't know why they are so light on shit like this. The guy is a menace. He's been doing this for so fucking long, just terrorizing his community around him. Breaking into their fucking houses to film TikToks, going up to them in the middle of the night or in the middle of the day just asking if they want to die. Just downright assaulting people. There's another one where he goes into a library and just starts ripping up the book, so destroying property as well. What does it take for him to face real wow. consequences for his actions? I'm sorry. Damn, niggas just breaking laws in the UK religiously with no consequence. You, the UK uh, judicial and fucking prison system, nigga, is fucking like um, mall security, my nigga. You know, Michael Hooji, that's ridiculous. I'm let's go. Excuse me, what can I um get a book here? Oh, sure. Just, uh, right. Damn, all these videos are in the fucking worst quality. I don't know where he got this. He got this shit off the deep web, bro. Um, Bro, kind of thick NGL. It's a TikTok. Is it? Is it a blind me? Is is just a TikTok? Is this a? Is this a a a, a, a TikTok? Uh, uh, chip chip cheerio. It is just a TikTok. Just a casual TikTok. Um, we in the UK just love love a good prank. Jolly good show. Jolly good show, mate. Jolly good show. Just a little bit of. Of, 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 of nuts and banter to, to really spice up your day. Oh, it's just a TikTok. It's just a TikTok. Oh, jolly good show. Jo like, nigga, come on, my nigga. Like, bro. TikTok video ripping books, no? Excuse me, what's going on? Me too. This is not just what we're doing. Is that your book from home? No, it's not. Another outrageous, stinky prank. Before, man, here. We attend it, it goes on and on and on. And it's Poppers. not going to stop anytime soon. Again, all of this he's viewed as a great thing for his career. It's not really it's a not. career because I don't think he's monetized it in any way. He just likes that people now know his name a little bit more. That's actually all he cares for about. That's reason. worth more than gold to him, which is so fucking pathetic. 
But anyway, just wanted to talk about him a little bit because I don't think people realize just how long he's been doing this kind of shit for. It's pretty despicable. That's it. See ya. Okay. Good video from Charlie. Plugs actually don't touch that. I want that. Yo. UK, I don't know. Y'all collectively gotta tighten up, bro. I ain't gonna... I don't, it's gonna be one UK motherfucker. Actually, well at least! Well at least! Fuck you. Piss off, Mike. Piss off, man. You wanna know what? You You, you wanna know what? You, you, you bloody wanker. You actually need to stay in like... You know, hey, you know there's gonna be one Brit in all caps. Nigga, go handle this nigga before you worry about me, bro. This nigga is ruining y'all community each day. Not getting touched. Not getting arrested. Nothing happening to the nigga, bro. So that's like, you know what I'm saying? If you're watching this on YouTube, Twitch Blue Rye in the description. I'm BBG. Alright. Put back like I'm double heaven. Hold up, triple deuces. Put it with some wigger out of juices. Hold up, speak to heaven. Eat that by my mama, demon, man. Me by the GLE, still I won't bite.